We're going to be talking now in this teaching about the requirements for building a strong foundation for a house of prayer in your city or in your church or whatever. It requires a strong foundation, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Because if we don't have a strong foundation, just like this building here, we will topple over when the difficulties come and when the pressure increases, just like you can see here. So we want a strong foundation. And God will help you move forward by his grace because it's his ability, not yours. So let's look at requirements for building a strong foundation. First of all, and this is so important, you must be willing to dig deep. Remember that we have to dig a big hole first in order to build a foundation. The foundation is the most difficult time. It's not superficial. We must believe in the power of prayer. We must be strong in the power of prayer ourselves. We must develop a strong personal relationship with God. So our personal devotional life and love for God must be very deep. So we need to build a deep foundation in our own lives and then as we build the foundation of the house of prayer. So realize that this takes time, it takes effort. I've had to work on my foundations for four decades, for a long, 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 long time in prayer before God gave me the responsibility of digging deep and helping others to go deep and working with houses of prayer. Another thing we need to partner with others. We need to look for others with the same vision in our city. We need to partner with other prayer ministries in our area. And God will give you a core group of dedicated and like-minded people if you search for it, if you pray for it. And he'll show you how to partner with others. Then we need to cast the vision for day and night prayer. This has to be done week after week after week. People need encouragement. And we've had to do this with people in the nations where we're helping to build houses of prayer. We're building houses of prayer throughout the Mediterranean right now, helping and uh, exhorting the church in these areas to do it. But there needs to be casting of the vision day and night. And we see this because that's what we're often doing. We're recasting the vision because prayer is hard. Building a foundation for a house of prayer is not easy. Then we must realize that there is an incubation stage. And in this stage, many in the area either have or are getting the vision. And there are many prayer meetings in the city, in different churches. And this stage of realizing and going through this incubation stage may take some time. It doesn't come quickly. And, and then we see this happening even in a country we're working with right now. There's an incubation stage. It takes time. And then we must develop our personal prayer life through learning to pray the scriptures. Practice praying the scriptures in your own devotional time with the Lord and also in the prayer meetings you're involved with. We need to pray the scriptures in our houses of prayer. And then we need to develop some corporate prayer meetings in local churches. Unity is essential and adds power to the prayer meeting. So we're trying to combine worship and prayer together throughout some of our prayer meetings. This is called Harp and Bowl, and I have a lot of training on this in other sessions, but we need to combine prayer and worship, and we need to develop corporate prayer meetings in different local churches and encourage them in different local churches. And one country we're working with right now in Greece, they're, they're uh, having weekend, once a month weekend prayer meetings called Burns, 48-hour burns in different churches through the year in order to help cast that vision, in order to help build that corporate those corporate prayer meetings and give people a vision for houses of prayer. Another thing we need to do is, is to have realistic expectations. We have to start small with a few prayer meetings in our church or in our city and then realize the value of a slow beginning. It doesn't happen quickly. It's very slow. There was many years of prayer meeting before the International House of Prayer started in 1999. There were many prayer meetings and several years of casting that vision. So we need to strategically 
and carefully incorporate existing prayer activities and understand the pressures people face in our society. We can't be critical when others don't come. We need to have realistic ex expectations and make it easy for others to join in prayer at their own pace. So it goes slowly, it takes time. Then we must realize that faithfulness and a marathon pace are essential. God's not looking for quick starts, but for steady faithfulness over time. We need to keep it simple. Basically, you are praying and calling people to pray. So God's strategies, they're not complex. They're not complex at all, but they do require faithfulness. And if I had to say something about all the people that are here at IHOP, Kansas City, the key word is faithfulness. It's faithfulness over time. It's a marathon pace. It's not quick, quick start and quick finish. No, it's faithfulness over time. And that's what's so important. The house of prayer will prevail because Jesus is a leader and the eternal intercessor. For he rules as king in his high priestly ministry of intercession. And you know, that's in Hebrews 7.25 and Isaiah 53.13. And then another thing I just want to add in here, I didn't write it down, but we need to go forward in faith and with God's peace ruling in our hearts. We need to know in our heart that day and night prayers what God desires, and he will bless it, he will sustain it, and to be a house of prayer is not a challenge, but it's a biblical command. And if you want to know what verse goes with that is Matthew 21, 13. And let's think about a stone cutter. He can hammer away at a rock for a hundred times without seeing even a crack showing. And you know how hard it is to hammer at a rock. You know how hard it is, but it might be the hundred and one blow that splits the rock apart. It's not the one blow that will lay a strong foundation, but it's a consistent hammering in prayer with a steady vision that will do it. God will give you and others that burning, driving vision to go deep with the foundations. He's going to enable you to pursue the deep life, the lifestyle of, of abandonment to him and his vision for your city. Laying the foundation will take a long time. Keep the peace of God ruling in your heart. Know that it's his desire. He's going to bless it. He'll sustain it. Trust him to build a strong foundation. Establishing day and night prayer is the most exalted occupation to those nearest his throne in heaven. Set your heart to persist regardless of difficulties. God's desire is to find a resting place. Praying that influences God is said to be the outpouring of the fervent, effectual, righteous man. It is prayer on fire. It does not have a feeble, flickering flame or a momentary flash, but shines with a vigorous, steady glow. And that's a quote by John Martin. So let's advance with faith and a determination to work. Let's keep the vigorous, steady glow of prayer burning. Don't give up. He's going to help you. And let me pray right now. Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters that they will build a strong foundation for the house of prayer. Father, help them to dig deep personally in their relationship with you. Help them to partner with others. Show them how, Lord. We ask that you would help them to cast the vision for day and night prayer in the city, in churches, in other communities, within their city. Father, help them to realize that it's there's an incubation stage and help them to go through this stage slowly and cast that vision to many in the area. Lord, I pray that they would learn to pray the scriptures in their prayer meetings. I pray that you'd help them to develop corporate prayer meetings in local churches. Keep that unity, Lord, and have help them to have realistic expectations that it's a small start with a few prayer meetings. And Lord, help them to see the value of slow beginnings. Father, I just pray that you would give them an understanding of the establishment stage as they establish it in their region, a unified vision. And Father, I pray 
that they'll realize that faithfulness and a marathon pace are essential. Help them to know, Lord, that you are in charge, that you are going to build that house of prayer in their city. Help them to advance with faith and a determination to work. Lord, help them keep the vigorous, steady glow of prayer burning. I ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless.